Welcome to a lesson on triple integrals using cylindrical coordinates. Let's first review cylindrical coordinates. In a cylindrical coordinate system, a point P in space is represented by an ordered triple r comma theta comma z. Where r comma theta is the polar representation of a point in the xy plane. So r is the directed distance, this distance here, from the origin in the xy plane. The angle theta, this angle here, is the angle counterclockwise from the polar axis, or the positive x-axis in the xy plane. And then finally, z is the directed distance up or down, this distance here, from r comma theta to the point in space. We also need to be familiar with these equations that we use to convert from cylindrical to rectangular coordinates, as well as these equations that we use to convert from rectangular to cylindrical coordinates. So if you don't have these in your notes, you may want to include them. Now let's talk about converting a triple integral in rectangular form to cylindrical form. The first thing to notice is that the integrand function f of x comma y comma z must be written as a function of r, theta, and z by substituting r cosine theta for x, r sine theta for y, and z remains the same. And then differential v is equal to r dz dr d theta. So notice how when converting from rectangular to cylindrical form, we will have an extra factor of r in the integrand function. So if the solid region of integration can be easily defined using cylindrical coordinates, the result is the triple integral in cylindrical form is often much easier to evaluate. And when converting from rectangular to cylindrical coordinates, the xy trace is often helpful in order to find the limits of integration for r and theta. Let's look at our first example. We want to integrate f of x comma y comma z over the solid region v bounded by z equals zero and z equals four minus the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. Let's first take a look at the region v in space. The region of integration is the region shown here bounded by the cone and the yellow plane. If we look down on the xy plane, we can see the xy trace, which is this circle here centered at the origin. Of course, we can also look up on the xy plane and view the xy trace here. So going back to our work, let's begin setting this up as a triple integral using cynical coordinates. So we know we'll have a triple integral. The integrand function in rectangular form is f of x comma y comma z equals x squared plus y squared, which must be expressed as a function of r, theta, and z. And because x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, f of r cosine theta comma r sine theta comma z is just r squared. And then differential v is equal to r dz dr d theta. And now let's work on determining the limits of integration for z, r, and theta. Well, z is bounded by z equals zero and z equals four minus the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, but we must express the limits of integration as functions of r and theta. So the lower limit of integration for z is going to be zero, but then for the upper limit of integration, because x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, and the square root of r squared is equal to r, the upper limit of integration for z is going to be four minus r. And now we'll use the xy trace to help us determine the limits of integration for r and theta. To find the xy trace by hand, we would set z equal to zero. So using this equation here, if we set z equal to zero, we could add the square root to both sides and then square both sides of the equation, which would give us x squared plus y squared equals 16, which is this circle here, centered at the origin, with a radius of four. And therefore, to trace out this circle, using cylindrical coordinates, r would go from zero to four, which are the limits integration for r, and then for theta, to go around the circle, the limits integration for theta would be from zero to two pi. Let's go ahead and rewrite the integrand function as r cubed. 
And now we integrate with respect to z, treating r cubed as a constant. So the antiderivative is r cubed z. The limits integration for z are from z equals zero to z equals four minus r. So now we need to find big F of b minus big F of a. So when z equals four minus r, we have r cubed times the quantity four minus r minus when z is zero, we have r cubed times zero. So notice how the new integrand function is just going to be four r cubed minus r to the fourth. And now we integrate with respect to r. So we'd have four times r to the fourth divided by four, that's just r to the fourth, minus r to the fifth divided by five, or minus one fifth r to the fifth. So when r is equal to four, we have four to the fourth minus one fifth times four to the fifth minus when r is zero, both terms are zero. So simplifying, four to the fourth minus one fifth times four to the fifth is equal to 256 fifths. And now we get this back to theta, which gives us 256 divided by five theta. Now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A one more time which should be 256 divided by five times two pi minus zero, which gives us 512 pi divided by five. So this is the value of our triple integral. Let's look at another example. Here we're asked to integrate f of x comma y equals one over the solid region V, bounded by z equals zero, x squared plus y squared equals one, x squared plus y squared equals four, and z equals four minus the quantity x squared plus y squared. In this case, because the integrand function is just the constant function one, if this solid region v is above the x, y plane, this would give us the volume of the region v. Let's begin by looking at the region v in space. The region v is the region below the light blue paraboloid and above z equals zero graphed in yellow between these two green cylinders. If we look down on the xy plane, again we can see the xy trace, which should be the region bounded by these two circles. And again, in this case, because the integrand function is f of x comma y comma z equals one, the triple integral is going to give us the volume of this solid region v. So beginning to set this up, f of x comma y comma z equals one, is going to be the same function in circle coordinates, so we have one, and then differential v again is equal to r dz dr d theta. And again, z is bounded by z equals zero, and the paraboloid given by z equals four minus the quantity x squared plus y squared. But again, the limits integration must be expressed in terms of r and theta, so limits integration for z are going to be from zero to four minus r squared. We have r squared here because x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And now we'll look at the x, y trace to help us determine limits integration for r and theta. The x, y trace can also be determined by using these two equations here and by setting z equal to zero in this equation. But in this case, if we set z equal to zero here, gives us the same equation we have here, x squared plus y squared equals four. So the x, y trace, so the x, y trace is the region bounded between these two circles, where the smaller circle has a radius of one and the outer circle has a radius of two. Which means the limits integration for r are going to be from r equals one to r equals two. And then to trace out the region between these two circles, theta has to go from zero all the way around the circle to two pi radians. So limits of integration for theta are from zero to two pi. And now we integrate with respect to z. 
So the antiderivative is going to be one RZ or just RZ. Limits integration are from Z equals zero to Z equals four minus R squared. Now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A. So we'd have R times the quantity four minus R squared minus R times zero. So simplifying, the new integrand function is just four R minus R to the third. Let's continue on the next slide. And now we integrate with respect to R. So the antiderivative is four times R squared divided by two, or two R squared, minus R to the fourth divided by four, minus one fourth R to the fourth. Now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A. So first R is equal to two. So we'd have two times two squared minus one fourth times two to the fourth minus when R is one, we have two times one squared minus one fourth times one to the fourth. So simplifying, here we have eight minus four minus the quantity two minus one fourth, which simplifies to nine fourths. Integrating with respect to theta, we have nine fourths theta. So we have nine fourths times the quantity two pi minus zero, which gives us nine pi divided by two. And again, in this case, because the integrand function is just a constant function one, and the solid region V is above the xy plane, the triple integral is equal to the volume of the region V. I hope you found this helpful.